Hey everybody, welcome back to another Movie Monday. Today we are going to be going over Maleficent 2. Movie Monday! The only cure I know for the Monday blues. Okay, so let's go ahead and start it off the way we normally do with going over the numbers. Uh, it took $180 million to make this movie. The uh, worldwide total was $758 million, so safe to say they did pretty well. Okay, so Rotten Tomatoes gave this movie a 40%, which is pretty low. Now the user ratings were 95, which is crazy high. It's what everybody I talked to, when I would say, hey, do you like this movie? They were like, wow, this movie's amazing. You should totally go see it. Everybody had high praise, but when I saw the 40 on Rotten Tomatoes, it kind of made me wonder. So one of the things I think that's very interesting about this movie is that the, this is one of the rare movies that if you really look at like the past couple of years of all the movies that Disney puts out, whether it's like Star Wars or whether it's Marvel stuff or if it's movies that were um, like Dumbo or uh, Mary Poppins, all these like remakes, um, this is one of the few movies where they really didn't have a lot to reference to go back to, where they could be like way more creative. So I think that's why this movie is really a lot better than some of the other remakes. I really wasn't a huge fan of Cinderella, really. Um, even Beauty and the Beast was okay, but this movie was like a different level of good from the other ones because they weren't really like restricted down and had to follow a format or some preconceived idea of what people expected. They were able just to be way more creative with it, which I think interpreted it into being a much, much better movie. Having a good movie definitely reflects on the actors though, and there was no shortage of good actors in this movie. Angelina Jolie definitely, you know, was awesome, better than the she was in the first movie. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer was new to the cast, and I thought she did an amazing, amazing job, especially like her type of character. Um, Elle Fanning was, you know, very good, at just as you, know, you expect, but very, very good acting and a good story, um, which made a great movie. My favorite scene was probably the dinner scene. I thought that scene was really, really awesome. Michelle Pfeiffer really like blew it away and so did Angelina Jolie when she was trying to like hold back and everybody was just kind of doing their thing. It was, I'm not going to go into it, but just watch the movie. That scene particularly was very, very good. So when I was doing this and doing some quick research on it, I saw that it actually came out for rentals tomorrow, which is pretty awesome. Actually, I take it back, not renting. You can buy it tomorrow. You have to wait a couple more weeks to actually rent it. but. It's kind of good timing, so I'm gonna release this thing out and then you guys can go uh, and buy it tomorrow or just rent it and take a look at it. Okay guys, well that's it. I just wanted to make this video kind of short and to the point. Go watch that movie, I highly recommend it. Next week we'll do another movie and I will catch you guys uh, in the next one. And yes, I know this band-aid is kind of ridiculous, but uh, yeah, I. Today was the first day I ever flew a drone and I got nervous and I kind of caught it in the air and to, to do the whole like thing where you flip it upside down and stop it and I hit the propeller and yeah, it was blood everywhere.